Mercedes just drove an EQS with a battery that charges in 18 minutes and gives 25% more range. BMW is testing similar technology in their i7 on Munich roads right now. After 10 years of promises, solid-state batteries are finally moving from labs to highways. But here's what nobody's telling you about this breakthrough. For a decade, we've heard the same story. Toyota promised solid state by 2020. QuantumScape claimed breakthrough after breakthrough. Dyson spent $2.5 billion and canceled their entire electric car program because solid state wasn't ready. The problem? Lithium metal anodes create dendrites, microscopic spikes that pierce through the battery separator and cause failures. Imagine tiny metal trees growing inside your battery until they short-circuit everything. Every company claimed they solved it. None delivered at scale. Until now, three companies have actual cars driving on real roads with working solid-state batteries. Factorial Energy just validated 77 amp-hour cells with Stellantis, 375 watt-hours per kilogram. That's 50% more energy density than current Tesla batteries. 15 to 90% charging in 18 minutes. Operating temperature from minus 30 to plus 45 Celsius. Their secret? FEST technology, a quasi-solid electrolyte that's compatible with existing lithium-ion production lines. While competitors need billion-dollar facilities, Factorial can retrofit current factories. Mercedes is so confident they put these batteries in an EQS test car, achieving over 1,000 kilometers of range. Stellantis plans demo fleets by 2026. Toyota and Idemitsu are building a lithium sulfide plant for 2027 production, targeting 50,000 EVs per year. Samsung SDI promises 900 watt-hours per liter by 2027. BMW and Solid Power have an i7 testing all solid sulfide batteries in Munich. But here's the kicker. QuantumScape, the most hyped solid-state company, just achieved baseline production of their separator technology. After years of promises, they're finally making consistent materials. The race isn't just between technologies, it's between timelines. Factorial launched Gamatron in 2025, an AI digital twin that predicts battery performance without physical testing. Instead of running hundreds of charge cycles over months, they simulate lifetime performance in days. This isn't just marketing. Digital twins are compressing R&D timelines across the battery industry. What used to take two years of testing now happens in two weeks of simulation. Let's separate facts from projections. Fact. Mercedes EQS with factorial batteries is driving on roads today with 25% more range. Fact. Stellantis validated 375 WHQ cells that charge in 18 minutes. Fact. BMW i7 with solid power batteries is testing in Munich. Projection. Mass production before 2028. Projection. Cost parity with lithium ion by 2030. Projection. 450 watt hours per kilogram in Factorial's next generation cells. Current lithium ion costs drop to $139 per kilowatt hour in 2023, heading toward $80 by 2026. Solid state will start more expensive, but promises higher performance. KTEL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, calls solid-state commercialization years away. Robin Zeng, their chairman, dismisses current solid-state claims as premature. Panasonic echoes this skepticism. Both companies have invested billions in lithium-ion improvements and aren't rushing to cannibalize their own technology. Their concern? Manufacturing yield. Lab cells are perfect. Production cells at gigawatt scale face contamination, interface degradation, and cost pressures that break most breakthrough technologies. Factorial operates a 200 megawatt hour pilot line in Massachusetts, the largest solid state facility in the US. But scaling to gigawatt production means solving yield problems that destroyed previous solid state attempts. Dyson's Sakti 3 acquisition failed because lab performance didn't translate to manufacturing. The interface between solid electrolyte and electrodes degrades under production stresses. 
Toyota delayed solid-state cars multiple times because their sulfide electrolytes emit hydrogen sulfide gas when exposed to moisture during manufacturing. These aren't small problems. They're physics and chemistry challenges that scale exponentially with production volume. This race has massive geopolitical stakes. China dominates lithium-ion production through companies like CATL and BYD. Solid State represents a chance for US, European, and Japanese companies to regain battery leadership. Factorial's Massachusetts facility, Toyota's Japanese production, Samsung's Korean factories, all positioned to break Chinese battery dominance, but only if they can scale profitably. The winner of Solid State doesn't just get better batteries, they get to reshape the entire electric vehicle supply chain. Here's the honest timeline based on current progress. 2025-2026, more test vehicles and demo fleets from Mercedes, Stellantis, BMW, and Toyota. 26-2027, limited production for premium vehicles and specialty applications. 28-2030, first mass market integration, starting with luxury EVs where customers pay premiums for performance. Anyone promising mainstream solid state batteries before 2028 is selling hype, not reality. Monitor these signals. Yield rates from Factorial's Massachusetts facility. Toyota's production timeline with Itamitsu. Cost per kilowatt hour disclosures from any solid state manufacturer. Durability data beyond 1000 charge cycles at temperature extremes. The company that solves manufacturing yield at competitive costs wins the solid state race and potentially the entire EV market. Solid-state batteries are finally transitioning from laboratory curiosities to road-tested reality. The Mercedes EQS, BMW i7, and upcoming Stellantis demo fleets prove the technology works. But manufacturing at scale remains unproven. The next three years will determine whether solid-state delivers on a decade of promises or joins the graveyard of battery breakthroughs that never scaled. The revolution might be starting, but it's not guaranteed to finish.